Hey survivors and thrivers, another video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to make a donation, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one on one coaching, you can send me an email at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. If you would like to be a part of our private Reddit community, you can sign up for the Patreon page. The link is in the video description. The Narc Survivor private Reddit community is a place where survivors can share their knowledge and experience and have discussions together. If you are interested in being a part of this, just click the link to my Patreon page in the video description. The Narcissist Observer Mode Narcissists are predators. They have to stalk their prey. They want to know everything that you are doing or thinking. They want to identify your patterns. They want to learn as much about you as they possibly can. Narcissists are voyeuristic. They love to watch and observe everything you are doing. There is even a disorder known as voyeuristic disorder. And I wouldn't be surprised if many of these narcissists have this disorder. Narcissists may stalk you as you enter or leave your home. They will identify your patterns. They will identify what times you go to certain places. They will know when you are alone. Narcissists will stalk you in the same way that a rapist, murderer or child molester will stalk their target. Rapists, murderers and child molesters are all narcissists. From my personal experience, I have noticed that narcissists will peep on you getting dressed or having sex. They also like to observe you during vulnerable moments, such as using the toilet or having a shower. I believe that this gives them the narcissistic supply and makes them feel powerful and in control of you. Narcissists do not like their targets having their own personal space or privacy. It makes them feel as though they are not in control. It reminds them that the target is a separate human being with their own rights. Narcissists want to believe that you are an extension of them or an object. In their minds, you exist to serve them. You do not need your own space. You do not need privacy. That's how they think. They enjoy observing people during vulnerable moments or during sexual activities. It gives them a kick, as though they are doing something they know they shouldn't be doing. They are emotionally immature like children. It's creepy, but this is what they like to do. They like being behind the scenes and watching what you are doing. There's just something about it which makes which, which provides them with a rush of excitement. It's like a hunt, a chase. Very predatory. Like a fox chasing after a rabbit. Narcissists operate mainly from the reptilian parts of their brains. So this animal-like behavior comes natural to them. Narcissists also understand that they are dependent on the target. Without the target, the narcissist cannot feel powerful or in control of them. They need to have a target to be in control of. It's like they are slaves to their narcissistic supply. So there will be a lot of frustration and resentment towards the target. Just like a teenager might resent their parents while also being dependent on them. 
Narcissus like the Narcissus supply. It gives them a short burst of excitement, but it never sustains them. It doesn't last long. So it becomes an endless pursuit day after day, where they become slaves to their targets, relying on them, depending on them, unable to live without them. And this isn't something they just do occasionally. It is an, an obsession, an addiction. So they will often have targets where they, they are watching 24 hours a day. The target's life is their life. The target's eyes are their eyes. The target's ears are their ears. The, the target's nose is their nose. This is where we get into what I like to call the observer mode. The observer mode is where the narcissist will mentally put themselves in your body and imagine what you are seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling or feeling in that moment. They imagine what sensations you are currently experiencing. They will then refer to what you are seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling or feeling in a subtle covert way. This causes you to reflect on that sensation and it creates an, an involuntary connection between you and them. This is done without your will or conscious control. The narcissist will follow your eyes and watch exactly what you are seeing through your eyes. Whether it's a person or object, whatever is in front of you that you are looking at with your eyes, they will be observing you watching this. And they will continue observing your eyes as you look around at other people or objects. They will then make references to this person or object. Something that will make you instantly identify them by what the narcissist is saying to you. This is covert behaviour, so the narcissist will not overtly say that you are looking at a person or a chair. They might refer to the colour of the chair, a characteristic of the person or anything else. There really is no limit to the references they could make. And this isn't limited to people or objects. It could be anything. The narcissist can also adapt this observer mode to any sounds you hear, anything you smell, any foods or drinks you taste, and anything you feel with your hands or bodies. This is some of the most obsessive and extreme behaviour you will ever experience. I have never heard anyone else discuss this kind of covert behaviour before on YouTube or anywhere else. But I already know from the comments on a previous video where, where I briefly discussed this that other people have experienced it. Their eyes will be glued to your eyes, watching whatever you are looking at. I think it starts off with them being jealous of you looking at another person, but then it gets out of control. Over time as they continue to practice this behaviour, they don't want you to look at anything. They start getting obsessed about what you are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting or feeling. They want to understand how this sensation is being interpreted or processed internally. I have noticed that even when I wear shades, if I turn around suddenly, I will often see a gang stalker behind me trying to look behind my lenses at my eyes. They have to know what you are experiencing in any moment and this applies to all of your senses.
They also have an obsessive desire to observe your thoughts. They have this arrogant mindset that they really do have the ability to read your thoughts. I personally believe that there are a small number of narcissists that can re read your mind. The problem is we absorb the thought of our environments. So just because we have a thought in our minds or we are thinking something, it doesn't mean that thought belongs to us. Of course, narcissists who do have the ability to read minds will apply this thought to you. An example is that the narcissist may claim that you are attracted to a person standing in front of you and that you are thinking of cheating on them. Due to the stressful and high pressure environment you are in with a narcissist, you are going to be unable to think, unable to control your mind. So, you will be more susceptible to absorbing the narcissist's dysfunctional thoughts. You may not like the thoughts that are appearing in your mind, so you try to fight them. But what you resist, persists. So you continue to get more of those thoughts and may even create more on your own without absorbing any more thoughts from the narcissist. If this narcissist has the ability to read your mind, they will then pick up on this and assume that you are thinking of cheating on them, when really you had absorbed what the narcissist was thinking about you and your resistance to these thoughts then caused them to persist and take control of your mind. From this point, if you do not have the awareness of this, you may then define yourself by the thoughts which you had originally absorbed from the narcissist. You may identify yourself with these thoughts. These thoughts may then influence your emotions, actions and behaviours. Now it has become a self-fulfilling prophecy and the narcissist believes that they were right all along. This is the problem if you are a highly sensitive empath with mind reading abilities and you are in a stressful environment with narcissists. Due to the stressful environment, especially if you are experiencing abuse, manipulation or reality distortion, you will have difficulty controlling your own mind. Narcissists do not want you to control your own mind. They want to be in control of that. This is why they are always trying to get you to react to them. But narcissists don't seem to understand that if you're always reacting to them, your thoughts are influenced by them too. You are going to be unable to generate your own authentic thoughts because you are constantly reacting to them. Of course, narcissists are emotionally immature and do not accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do. So if you try to hold them accountable for anything, they will deny, project, blame shift and gaslight you. I hope that I have explained the observer mode well in this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Talk to you soon.